another episode of Charlie Drives. Today I'm in the new Vauxhall VX220. Uh, yes, this has replaced the beloved Porsche Boxster, which has featured quite a bit on the channel. If you haven't seen that series, click the link above to go and have a look at the videos on the Boxster. But yes, here we are in the Vauxhall VX220. This particular car is a 2003 Turbo. So it's a VX220 Turbo. I've always had a thing for these cars. Ever since my dad worked for General Motors, which owned Vauxhall and Opel at the time, I remember the day he came home with one of these. Given my affection for Lotus cars, this was incredible to have a Vauxhall built at Hethel. Um, so when he brought it home, I was just like, oh, yeah, I've always been a bit infatuated but with these cars. So during the period of ownership of the Boxster, the whole purpose of that car was really to sort of just daily drive it and take it around track. Now, even though on my last video, the last couple of videos, I took it on track, had a great time with the car. This just feels like it's a little bit more appropriate for that sort of use. So I hope you can hear me, it's really loud in the cabin. Um, obviously there is absolutely no sound deadening in these cars, so it is totally raw. I will do a more in-depth video on this on this car uh, over, over the course of the next few months, depending on the coronavirus situation but for now I thought I would make the most of just taking the car out show you guys a little bit about it and um, justify a little bit why I bought this thing but yeah it's super raw no power steering it's so light I mean this is this is um, a slightly heavier car than the naturally aspirated version uh, a lot of people uh, with the naturally aspirated cars obviously end up putting a supercharger on the engine which I, which I know is a very popular popular thing that people do but this has got an awful lot of power um, the brakes are really good as well I have to say when uh, I got rid of when, when I got rid of the box I almost went to the back of somebody because uh, I'd already picked this one up and uh, the brakes the difference in the brakes is incredible the brakes on this thing are in, they are they're amazing I mean obviously this car is a lot lighter but yeah a lot of people might go hey why didn't you go and buy a Lotus Elise or something like that um, and I have to say like the difference in price if you look at these cars on the market versus maybe in the, the Toyota engine equivalent Elise S2 for example um, these are a hell of a lot cheaper and arguably I would say the performance is approximately the same um, I mean, honestly, it's not gonna make an awful lot of difference for me. It's more of a just little bit of a track weapon. It's a, it's a shame, all, I think all of the circuits in the UK have, have sort of canceled all of their track day operations and everything like that. So it's a bit of a shame that we can't go up and track it straight away. But what it does do is it gives me a bit of time to live with the car, get to know the car a little bit. Because I've, get, because I've got rid of the Boxster, this is now the daily driver, which is, bonkers it's completely bonkers um, getting in and out of this thing is let's put it this way it's there we go getting in is easier getting out not so much so um, and actually to be honest with you the first day my daughter got in it she shut her fingers in the door so she doesn't like the car my wife doesn't like the car so but I think the main thing with something like this is that it is a toy, it's a bit of a, it's going to be great for track use. And I, I think, you know, driving around B roads, it's going to be really fun for that as well. Um, everything else that I drive after getting in this feels like a tank by comparison. So even, you know, we took the Evora the other day for a, uh, for a weekend trip away and it felt huge versus this. So, you know, um, it is a great little car to drive. It feels fantastic around the country roads. And again, like, you know, this car is, or the Vauxhall VX220, is a car that helped Lotus out 
during a very, well, during a bit of a sticky situation. Um, this was after GM had um, cut ties with Lotus, so um, obviously they had a relationship and a fairly good relationship uh, uh, of that, um, but Lotus kind of needed help when they were developing the S2 release. Um, they needed, they needed, they needed financial help, um, and that is exactly why. I and mean, there's lots of videos out there on on the story behind this car, so I'm not going to sort of go into loads of detail about the history of this particular car, but it, it, it was essentially because Lotus financially needed help to develop this car, uh, I think it was for safety reasons, so um, this is why this came along, so obviously this was, this was, this was sort of built at Hethel alongside the S2, and um, quite frankly, you know, the turbo engine in this car, I mean, it's, 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 it's the engine that, that comes from the uh, the Mark IV Astra. Um, it's the Z20 LET engine, and it's a bloody, bloody good engine, from what I understand, from what I've researched. It shares the gearbox with the same car, uh, the same car as well. So. A lot of a, a, a lot of sort of mechanical aspects of this car I'm hoping will sort of last um, obviously there are there are discussions on the forums about these cars still going wrong um, I mean after all it is it is a fairly old car now but there's still a little bit like little squeaks and stuff I don't know if you can hear that but there's little things about this car I mean the previous owner uh, really really nice guy he didn't really drive the car enough um, so it really just needs to be driven this car and um, that's why I'm driving it all the time so I'm driving it on a daily basis for now um, I'm just going to Tesco's to actually do some shopping um, to see what sort of shopping I can do anyway let's put it that way because you never know in these uncertain times what you're actually going to be able to buy. A relatively unsuccessful shopping trip to Tesco's. Really could not buy much. We've got the beer, and we've got the wine, so that's all that matters. But anyway, generally, let's just have a little walk around the, Vauxhall, the new Vauxhall VX220. So the boot space, as you can see, is relatively small. There's not much room in there at all. But you know what? What was I expecting, right? Can you do, you can definitely not do a weekly shop, but given the current coronavirus situation of restrictive buying of stuff, it kind of works perfectly because you can fit everything in. So, happy days. Got the brew dogs. I actually bought some Coronas as well. That's the only, it's the only lager they had. Nobody buys the stuff. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think of the new car. Um, I'm pretty pleased with it. Um, it's a little bit childish and not very practical. And my wife doesn't really approve of it, but I do. <laughs> so happy days. It's really not easy to fit stuff in. Uh, fucking hell. <laughs> it is that much of a squeeze. Life is difficult. Life is this difficult. Done. So yeah, that's the new VX220. Hope you like it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Also, I'd be quite interested to know for all of, all of you car geeks out there, is this car genuinely a Lotus? Uh, let me know in the comments, maybe do a bit of a vote. They gave it a type number, 116, type, type 116 or 116, whatever you want to call it. So as far as I'm concerned, it is a real Lotus. Um, it's built by Lotus. 
it's just got a lot of voxel parts, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. Um, <laughs> and it's really fun. It's really fun when you lose the back end. But anyway, uh, I should really behave myself now um, because that was a very serious Tesco shop. Thanks very much for watching. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and I will keep the content flowing as much as I can do throughout this pandemic. Um, it's probably a great opportunity to make content uh, and a good opportunity for lots of people at home to watch the content. So anyway, no pressure. I will make lots of videos and I'll see you for the next one. See you later. Bye.